What's up, crew? I am back with another reaction. This time we have more slapped ham. Scary ghost sightings no one can explain. Uploaded June 6th, 2020. Now, y'all already know all the important links will be down in the description. So, without further ado, let's get into it. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. Today, we're looking at some eerie ghosts caught on camera that the experts can't quite explain. So, hit that subscribe button and get ready for more freaky content just like this. An old English castle does seem like the type of place where spirits with unsettled dramas might linger. That's why it's pretty easy to believe a man named Tony Ferguson when he claims he captured a ghost on film at Hurst Castle in Hampshire, England. The tale seems even easier to believe once you know that the haunted estate dates all the way back to the time of Henry VIII. Tony Ferguson is actually an unlikely ghost hunter. He's a personal trainer who just happened to visit Hearst Castle to investigate claims that something supernatural was happening at the estate. Oh, I bet. What's interesting about this ghost encounter is that there wasn't much of an encounter at all. Ferguson didn't actually know that he had seen a ghost on the grounds until he spotted a figure with glowing eyes while he played back his footage. As you can see in footage from Cater's News, movement can be spotted in the castle window just before a figure with glowing eyes makes an appearance. If you slow the footage down, there is indeed a shadowy figure in the window. Yeah, I... Ferguson's initial reaction when he saw the figure in his footage was that someone was playing a prank on him. However, Ooh. he learned after conducting research regarding the castle grounds that the window in question can only be accessed by an ultra-narrow tunnel. I think that's it. Uh, While Ferguson didn't thumbnail. actually see the ghost in person, he did feel as though he wasn't alone during his castle visit. Oh, you're not. He explains that he simply felt that something was watching him. Yeah. He also had the sensation that something was following him from room to room. You already know. However, the skeptical, accidental ghost hunter simply dismissed it as his mind playing tricks on him. Bullshit. He isn't a skeptic after watching a playback of his own footage, though. Who or what did Tony Ferguson encounter during a visit to Hearst Castle in Hampshire? He believes he encountered the caretaker who supposedly haunts the castle grounds. It's hard to know what you're getting into when you first catch a sight of what appears to be just a normal yellow room located somewhere in Poland, shared by a YouTube user called The Slamming Door. Normal things like a desk, chairs, and some gaming gear can be spotted around the room. However, it becomes obvious that something very strange is going on about 15 seconds into the clip. English, please? The uploader of the video flashes a message on the screen, letting the viewer know that he's been forced to install cameras after enduring bizarre events in this very room. really interesting part occurs about two minutes in. Suddenly, we hear a series of hard knocks on the door leading to the room. <laughs> Items are thrown around the room by some violent, unseen force. Recording the footage on his carefully positioned cameras appears trapped and unable to escape. I feel bad for him. Unfortunately, the fact that the man is speaking Polish means we don't have a clear idea of what he's saying through his exasperated pleas. Right. It's also unclear whether he's experiencing a panic attack or some type of possession as he gasps and pants for air. Research did pull up what appears to be a blog that's maintained by the man who uploaded the slamming door video, documenting his tormenting experience. Let's talk about what there is to know. The haunting activity allegedly began at some point in February of 2015. It began with odd noises and random mysterious music that played in the man's house. However, it quickly escalated into violent thrashings and movements. 
The man who allegedly endured the haunting actually uploaded about two dozen videos, chronicling his disturbing encounters. However, the last one was uploaded in 2016. Did he finally smarten up and simply move out of his house to stop the torment? I highly recommend you check out this channel. I'll put a link in the description box below. The fact that ghosts and spirits can supposedly travel through matter without being confined by the laws of the material world does make you wonder why a ghost would be hanging around in an airport of all places. However, footage from the airport in Islamabad seems to show some pretty concrete proof that something supernatural is afoot. Ghost sightings don't happen at airports every day. However, Islamabad's new airport is no ordinary airport. The newly built facility in Islamabad has been plagued by ghost sightings and rumours that it's haunted ever since it was finished in 2018. In fact, some passengers have simply decided to stay away from the airport entirely I bet. after snaps of bizarre hooded figures and mysterious clawed feet that were supposedly taken there were shared online. What the fuck? Several Twitter users have shared stories of ghosts supposedly interfering with pilots on the airport's runways. In addition, tales have been circulating about workers having strange experiences during the airport's construction. The most common complaint among those who spent time at the site was a feeling of unexplained and sudden pressure on their chests. In fact, the paranormal activity has been so overwhelming in some portions of the airport that security guards have actually fainted. Hysteria or haunting? We do have one specific snippet of footage that may convince you that Islamabad's new airport is full of something other than passengers and luggage. In a clip uploaded by Just Videos TV, we can clearly see what appears to be a shadowy figure making its way through a portion of the airport. It was captured after hours on the airport's CCTV system. The figure looks amorphous and translucent. It slowly hovers from right to left before disappearing. Do you believe the Islamabad International Airport is haunted? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. That has to be real. YouTube channel Scary Chiller shares some footage that has us wondering just how frequently ghosts float about in common places without anyone noticing. This CCTV footage appears to show a quiet, abandoned street late at night. We aren't given any information about where exactly the footage was caught. However, the date stamp indicates that it was filmed in September of 2014. Nothing happens in the short video until about 55 seconds in. It's there that we see what appears to be a dark image simply materializing up from the ground. What the fuck? Dude, come on. Really? The figure then lumbers slowly along the street, much like a person might take an evening stroll. Unfortunately, the darkness of the night makes it difficult to make out any sort of shape or outline of the figure. In fact, it's difficult to even tell at all if the image is a human ghost or some type of mist-like entity. They got me fucked up. This is one of those ghost sightings that might make you think twice about taking an evening stroll. Thank God I never do. They never will. Hopefully. This clip, uploaded by Abe Ma, shows what appears to be raw footage from a car's dashboard cam. It's also one of the more public ghost sightings on record. We see what looks like just a normal boulevard lined with stores and restaurants on a typical day. We could also see from the footage that the traffic pattern appears pretty heavy and steady. This certainly isn't a spot where you would choose to cross the road. The terrifying moment happens about 20 seconds in. The figure of a girl or woman suddenly pops out of nowhere right in the middle of traffic. Shit! What the fuck the did she come from? to drift through what appears to be a large truck. Fuck no. Of course, the footage does raise some questions. It's possible that the ghost was simply a woman crossing the road or exiting a vehicle midway on the boulevard. Why? Also, the black and white nature of the film makes it a little more difficult to get a good read on who or what the figure might be. 
If we slow the footage down, she does indeed appear to materialize out of thin air. I don't like that. A few seconds earlier, it does look like there's a person standing on the nature strip of the road. However, it doesn't quite match the trajectory of the mysterious woman. Is this a ghost or just a reckless person with no regard for their own safety? Stupid motherfucker. That's the creepiest one so far. Is a student apartment on the campus of Texas A&M Corpus Christi the site of a poltergeist? One student who had to endure living in this room of horrors certainly believes so. This is one of those rare hauntings where the footage is actually shared by the original uploader. A YouTube user called Fifa Tysaw claims he was forced to break his lease after being tormented by violent ghostly outbursts in his college apartment. The student takes us on a tour of his small apartment to showcase what a real-life haunting looks like. He breathlessly records incessant knocking sounds. A door that opens and shuts on its own repeatedly. Fuck your lease, bro. Fuck your lease. And signs of tussled furniture. <laughs> However, the most convincing and disturbing piece of activity is a levitating mattress. Oh! Yes, the ghost in this student's apartment seems to be so strong it can lift an entire mattress with ease. I don't know about that one. The student finally escapes the room and heads down the hallway. Genuine haunting or bored college kid, it's hard to say. However, this student's experience is far from an isolated experience on the A&M campus. Texas A&M Corpus Christi is continuously the subject of alleged ghost sightings. The campus was built on an island that is adjacent to mud flats that supposedly serve as burial grounds for Native Americans. Students who live on campus have been reporting odd sightings and encounters for years. Oh yeah, it's haunted. Could it be this institution of higher learning inhabits a sacred place that is a hotbed for hauntings? I was with him until it went to that mattress. That mattress could be Before staged. Get to that number one spot and take a look at a super eerie photo that was captured inside Alcatraz. Remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that bell icon there. That way you'll be notified every time we upload a new and scary video. Oh, Alcatraz? Oh, yeah. It's, it's finna get real. Alcatraz is widely known to be one of the most haunted places in America. Yep. After all, a maze of steel cells set apart from society by ripping tides that just happens to be full of the most hardened and brutal criminals is the perfect recipe to create a place where souls can't rest. Pretty much. Reddit user Brock Murphy shares an up-close version of the photo. However, the incident was also widely covered by news outlets, ranging from the San Francisco Gate to the Daily Mail. The original picture was actually captured by a woman out of Birmingham named Sheila Sillery Walsh, who visited Alcatraz while on vacation in April of 2014. The snapshot reveals what appears to be a shadowy girl staring out from a window. The window leads to a portion of the prison where inmate guests would wait prior to visitations. Interestingly, Sheila claims that she didn't see the image of the girl at the time the photograph was taken. It only materialised in her photograph after the fact. It's unlikely that the figure is simply a fellow tourist visiting Alcatraz who just happened to be passing by when the photo was taken. The big takeaway is that she appears to be styled for the 1930s or 40s. It's unlikely that Sheila would have missed a costumed woman in person during her tour. Sheila also claims to have been a skeptic about ghost sightings prior to this curious encounter. She now wonders if the image she snapped could be the spirit of a woman who visited one of the prisoners inside Alcatraz when the prison was in operation. Love to get your thoughts on this fascinating photo in the comments section below. 
you want to see some more scary videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive playlist there that'll keep you entertained for hours and hours. Leave us a comment down below, hit that thumbs up button. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. That last one, that last one got me. I ain't gonna hold you. That that got me. Y'all know how I feel about shadow people. So those shadow ghosts or shadow people videos, those got me. But this one, this last one, because you could pretty much distinguish the expression on the girl's face that was looking out of the little window. See, I don't know, man. I When he said Alcatraz, I, I already put it in my mind. It's going to be like the ghost of a man, like an old inmate or an old correctional officer or something like that. But that was a little girl ghost. And it, the, the facial features were so pronounced. And it just... Oh shit. It that threw me. That that got me. I ain't gonna lie. That got me good. I ain't gonna hold you. I I ain't gonna try to be no tough guy. That got me. That picture got me. Well played, Slam uh slapped him. Well played. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoy it. I do hope you drop a like, comment on the video, and share the video and join the crew. But that is all I have. So until next time, I am out and you guys stay safe and stay blessed.